Let's go to the Buffalo Beals and the New England Patriots. Ooh. You know, Bill Belichick, we got a chance to see. I got a chance to see live. Everybody got to see. I guess that was watching. Uh, second greatest year of college game day, by the way. Oh, nice. nice. Well, last year. There you go. Last year's number one. This year's number two. We didn't have that one uh, cable network for the first few weeks. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, Spectrum. Spectrum. I forgot about that. Spectrum or whatever for the first few weeks, which was interesting because our show debuted. Plus, you didn't count. In the middle of that as well. You didn't count the 20 and, minutes uh, leading up to the biggest game of the year either, right? Well, I mean, okay, let's just talk about our blinders. Let's blinders. talk about our mm -hmm. team. Okay, let's talk about our team. Let's not talk about what's going on anywhere else. But game day, wagon, obviously. Very lucky to be there. Very thankful to be there. A lot of people see it. When Bill Belichick came on there, there was a lot of people that are like, that is, that is the greatest Bill Belichick we've ever seen. Yeah, who is that? That is the funnest Bill Belichick we've ever seen. Holy hell, we're getting to see the human that is Bill yeah. Belichick because in his press conferences, he is this mundane, dressed terrible, I ain't saying shit to anybody about anything, about anything mm -hmm. guy, except for other teams' players that he respects. Yes. And we saw him on the Top 100 show with Rich Eisen where they won a damn Emmy, I do believe. And, and, and those matter. They, they won an Emmy. And he was fantastic in there about the history of the game. But whenever you ask him about a player that he has great respect for during the week, as opposed to we're on to Buffalo, uh, we're going to get better on first down, second down, third down, fourth down. I already answered that question. I'm not doing that. He will open up. He has done like four-minute diatribes on long snapping mm -hmm. in the history. He's done it on punters, kickers, Bye. players on other teams that he doesn't think gets talked about in a good enough way. He will utilize that. Josh Allen this week is the man that he has massive respect for and is talking about. Here's him talking about Josh in his press conference. I don't know. Just kept it. <laughs> just kind of like Brady. I mean, once Brady got to a certain point there in 03, that's pretty much the way it was the rest of his career. Wasn't really like that in 02, it wasn't like that in 01, certainly wasn't like that in 2000, but like once he got to a certain point there about the midseason of the 03 season and then in the playoffs and then from then on, it was, you know, his level of performance and play and consistency was at the very top of the league. So, different style of play, but I mean, yeah, once, once those quarterbacks, usually when they get to that point, then they're able to sustain it. Sometimes you just don't know what the growth pattern is going to be. I don't know. It doesn't really matter where he was, where he is right now. He's pretty good. Real. <laughs> growth pattern. What happened? Unreal. What was that six second pause? I think he was done. And nobody yeah. knew that he was done. Never do. Because when he started that oh. answer, he was in character to not give an answer. Bingo. And then his brain remembered, oh, I like Josh Allen. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got I out of here. I think he was just so mad that he. I had talked for that long. Yeah, he was disgusted with yeah. himself, maybe, but he thought Josh <laughs> Allen obviously deserved it. He's seen Josh Allen a lot, obviously, in the same division there. Anytime he's doing things like that, though, you're the one that he's preparing for. You're the one that he's thinking about. You're the one that he's watched hours of film on that particular week, and it's a huge honor, and I'm sure Josh Allen really enjoyed hearing that, AJ. Oh, it should. I mean, I would imagine if, if Bill Belichick's sitting up there in, in a presser, the one shot on him, and he's praising you for two to three minutes as an opposing player. It's got to feel pretty good. But do you think Bill is strictly doing it just because he loves him and he wants him to get his props? Or is it also a little gamesmanship? Hey, I want to make this guy nervous. Let's make sure he – maybe he feels a little bit more pressure this week. Like, what is – I think it's real because remember – Yeah, yeah. Last year after the Bills beat the Patriots, very close game, and Josh Allen had like an absurd fourth and one run to convert inside, you know, New England territory. So I think he just respects – Josh as a whole, and we see this. Uh, you mentioned it. He, he did it with Rodgers. You know, he did it with some players that maybe others don't th view them as you know upper echelon players. But I just think he loves Josh. And as a Patriots fan, I hear that in his music to my ears because everything that he's saying is Josh Allen is a guy that you know doesn't come across often, especially in a draft. And uh -huh. you know, he had two rushing touchdowns against the Chargers. He does stuff like this, and it's hard not to just be like, okay on the run <laughs> in a keyhole 40 yards to Gabe Davis. And hearing Bill say Great that catch. stuff just reaffirms the, okay, New England Patriots are going to take a quarterback at the top of the draft. A guy it's like good Josh angle. Allen good angle. Does, doesn't fall past seven, which I think is where he got drafted. That is why I was so excited to hear about this. But also, yeah, Bill just has the utmost respect, not only for great players like this, but guys who come into the league – 
you know, have a, a rocky start. I think Josh started six games his rookie year and then progressively just got better and better. And I think that specifically is something, jo uh, excuse me, Bill respects mm -hmm. more than anything is like a player coming in and just progressing into now an MVP candidate every year. Bill's one of the only guys, by the way, and go into the other team's locker room, find the quarterback yeah. and go talk to him without the other coach being like, get the f <laughs> yeah. get out of my lock. Why are you talking to my players? That's just because of who Bill is. What do you think Bill's doing here, and what do you think it means for his relationship with Josh Allen? I think everything that you guys said. He's throwing flowers at them because they because they deserve it, and Josh deserves it, and it's utmost respect. And he's sending a message to his, uh, his team. He's sending a, a message to Josh, like, and Josh knows this that it, he's going to get their absolute best. He knows he's going to oh, yeah. take away. Diggs is going to have no zero opportunities if there are any right to take well, him take him out of the game he's going to do something with the front and something with the coverage take care of him he's going to have a spy you know ready to to run him down flush him and run him down but and and also if if you're Josh you're listening to this too you're like the expectation like Bill's talking talking about me like this I got a certain another level of expectation like I I got to play really well if if I think that's the thing that like everybody in football understands. You know, it's kind of like the Aaron Rodgers stuff, where like media potentially who have maybe been jaded or have a view about Bill Belichick or fans from other cities that have hated New England for a yeah. long time have a view. Everybody in football feels the same exact way about Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. If Bill Belichick is caught up any, it's like. That sounds a little different coming out of that mouth. <laughs> yeah. You know, it sounds a little different coming out of the greatest coach and greatest GM in history's mouth. And it's like, I, I love whenever Bill starts opening up like that, but it feels like we're never going to get that on a regular basis because he's going to coach forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're never going to get Bill on a microphone on a podcast no. yep. once a week. Just like, hey, Bill, what were your thoughts on this game? And then him just go bananas.